good morning. So today I have Ryan with us who works for Secure Circle, which focuses on mitigating data breaches and inside threats, which is very important these days because every time we turn on the news, something is happening, especially when it comes to Facebook or whether it comes to the invasion of privacy. So let's welcome Ryan on 10 Minutes of Hiding Wisdom, who will tell us about his experience when it comes to working with a company that specifically focuses on data security, what got him into the specific field and whether the company that he's working with is hiding or not. Hi, Ryan. How are you doing today? You mean all. Thanks for having me. Of course. How are you doing? How's your day going so far? Great day. Great day. It's 107 or so here in Scottsdale, <laughs> but uh, you know it's always 75 in the air conditioning, so it's nice. <laughs> Sounds good. So, Ryan, can you tell us about where you're currently working, what your company actually does? Sure. I work for Secure Circle. We um, have rethought DLP and uh, really help organizations mitigate uh, data breaches, um, uh, accidental dissemination of data, ransomware exfiltration. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's exciting. So what got you into this data security? I mean, it sounds like very exciting, but was there some, was it this something that you knew you wanted to pursue a career in? Or was it something like you were like, okay, I can see people actually going into this field. It's a, like an increasing trend. So I should go towards this. What was the rationale behind you choosing this? Yeah, so I was in technology predominantly on the sales and marketing side early in my career and had an opportunity to work for a, um, uh, a great uh, cybersecurity reseller and service provider. And this was in the, uh, the mid 2000s, the aughts. And, um, and you know, I, I got very lucky that cybersecurity has taken off from there. And so I was able to ride, uh, you know, a rising tide raises all ships. So I definitely um, was fortunate uh, to, uh, to start in cybersecurity before it, it is what it is today. Of course. Well, it worked out for you. So I'm glad to hear that, Ryan. And Ryan, um, because you've had an experience when it comes to marketing and sales, according to you, what makes an individual successful when they're applying for jobs in this specific position in the first place? Sure. I think, you know, if you have the requisite credentials and experience and everything they're looking for from the, the job description write up, I think the most important thing is to be, uh, you know, to be honest. Um, if you don't represent yourself properly, you're, you're not going to, um, you know, I think so much in sales and marketing is about the team, right? It's not about the individual. It's definitely that the, the sum of the parts. And if you're not honest and represent yourself, then, you know, usually you're th those types of people are going to have a harder time fitting into the team. Um, and I think really, uh, uh, being honest about who you are and being honest about what you want to do and who you want to work with. I think from a sales and marketing standpoint, it's going to be much more beneficial than, um, than the thought of just do whatever you can to get in and then you'll figure it out from there. Uh, I think you need to be really honest. Of course. So, I mean, I think this might be a bit obvious, but how do you make sure that you're honest enough about yourself with other people to make sure that you're actually presenting yourself to the company in the right way to make sure that they can assess you properly? Sure. I think, um, you know, it starts with, whatever you've written down, right? Making sure that that very, that represents you well. I think too many times people use hyperbole or expand a little that might stretch into being dishonest. Um, I think doing research, right? Doing research on the company and on who you're meeting with, who you're going to be interviewing with, who you're going to be working with, um, I think also uh, is, is beneficial uh, because then you're not guessing on what you think the other person wants to hear. You're, you know more about them You've identified with them, hopefully in some way, or at least uh, gone through some sort of mental exercise to understand what it would be like to work with them. And then you've given yourself some time to, um, you know, not necessarily role play every possible question, but have some, some thought of how you want to present yourself and making sure that it is accurate. Okay, that's, that, that makes a lot of sense. So you did mention, Ryan, regarding how you can be successful as in, like, in getting a job with sales and marketing. But what makes a person successful in this particular field, according to you? Yeah, I think, um, you know, a lot of the things you hear, they might sound cliche, but I think they're true. I think a lot of it is having grit, being willing to do whatever uh, whether it's just from, you know, physical being there for a long time, right? Being in the right place, whether it's um, getting outside of your comfort zone and doing things that maybe are a little uncomfortable or things you haven't done in the past. I think in sales and marketing, you have to be very creative. You have to use tried and true methods 
but yes, also you also have to be willing to um, to step outside of them because um, you know with evol- you know people evolve, so how we sell to them is much different. Just as we have over the past year and a half, how we're selling to people today, how we're marketing to them is much different than it was two years ago. So I think um, following uh, structures that have worked in the past. And making sure that those have enough room for you to iterate on today's current landscape is, is going to be uh, is is what's going to help with success in sales and marketing. Yeah, I'd love to hear Ryan regarding you mentioned specifically how marketing has changed. Can you maybe elaborate a little more on that regarding how marketing specifically changed when you were working with Secure Circle, and what were some of the changes that you noticed? Sure. Well, I think you know a lot of it is so much marketing, especially in cybersecurity is done in person from a conference, uh, you know, trade associate, trade the show or those types of events. And so a lot of them shifted to being virtual. I think people had virtual fatigue and a lot of them just paused. So I think being able to um, have a combination of now that we're going to be going back uh, on prem to see customers in these events and conferences, um, definitely being able to properly uh, connect with your audience in person and virtually. And I think um, that being able to do both. So having the, the uh, conferences and the on-prem events uh, and how do you continue to have education and connection after the event is done? I think that's going to be a big thing where instead of just these point in time, one day or one week events, we're going to have a day, a week in-person events and then better engagement throughout the course of the week, the quarter, the year, whatever the time frame might be from that event. That I think that's sense. important. I, and I also think yeah. that our messaging, um, I think there just needs to be more sensitivity. I think that, that so much has happened in two years that shifted what is um, acceptable for a corporation to, to, to discuss I think there's there's some, you know, the guardrails are moving in and there's a more narrow lane. And I think organizations that can really navigate uh, identifying with their customer, but so much more uh, than in the past, we have to identify with the individual employees and make sure that the message is is um, is uh, viewed upon by everyone in the organization, not just the marketing team or the executive team talking to the marketing team. But that message has to be the voice of the whole organization. I think that's going to resonate with our customers more also in a general sense. That makes sense. I loved how you mentioned regarding the sensitivity aspect, because I think a lot of people specifically during the pandemic grew much more empathetic. So I think connecting with the audience is something that's so important, because at the end of the day, these are the people that we're actually selling to so knowing what they want how to present ourselves to them is something that's very important Ryan so thank you for sharing that and Ryan the most important question would definitely be whether the company you're working with which is Secure Circle whether it's hiring what kind of positions are opening so that if people are interested they can definitely know when and where to apply sure absolutely so yes so we're we're, we are hiring from um, uh, sales uh, regional sales directors inside sales from um, sales engineers, pre-sales sales engineers. Uh, so we definitely have open headcount. And I think all companies, when they find great people, are going to try to find a place for them. So even if there's a company that, that, you know, someone in the audience, if you want to apply to any company out there, you know, if, if you're going to make that team better, you know, unless there's a huge cash crunch, but then maybe you don't want to work with that company. But if you're going to make them better, if you if you really present yourself that that how you can be a benefit to that team and that team should try to find a place for you. That sounds amazing. And I love that approach. So definitely if you're really interested in a company and if you see if there are no job postings, make sure you reach out to a recruiter or a hiring manager and you never know how your luck might change. Well, Ryan, our time is up. It was an absolute pleasure having you as a guest. Thank you so much for sharing about your insights, working with secure circle, what got you interested in data security and some of the advices that you gave, specifically when it came to the sensitivity of the content that you present to your audience. I hope you have a great rest of your day, Ryan. Thanks, Meenal. You too.